Uh, good morning. I'm Rick Weinstein. I've been a broker with NAI Rural Commercial for over 17 years after 25 years in retail ownership. Chris Wilkins, Sean Langan, and I work together on the retail portion of the presentation. While we work in all areas of commercial brokerage, we spend a great deal of time with retail properties. 2014 continued to be a growing and developing year for the Quad Cities retail market. New national and regional retailers have entered the market with more currently searching for space. Activity has been brisk. Elmore Marketplace completed the first phase, its first phase with the construction of 90,000 square feet of retail space with tenants including DSW, Pier 1, Gap Factory Store, Banana Republic Factory Store and others plus a Holiday Inn and Suites and the new J-Bar restaurant. Reports are that sales have exceeded expectations. Phase two is planned with the potential of approximately 22,000 square feet of additional retail space. Middle Road Plaza at the intersection of Middle Road and I-74 in Bettendorf is now 100% leased with tenants including Starbucks, Jimmy John's, Salon Aria, AT&T and First State Bank of Illinois. The project sits in front of the new Hilton Garden Inn. American TV on Elmore closed in the spring of 2014, but by the end of the year, the 147,000 square foot building was sold, and by October 2015, will open as a 120,000 square foot Ashley Furniture Store and Distribution Center with an additional 25,000 square feet remaining. It did not take long for the bulk of this space to be absorbed. Quickstar has been an aggressive player in the market, picking up five high-profile locations in the Iowa Quad Cities, in front of the new Menards on Brady Street, across from North Park in the former Ethan Allen site, the former Cheddar's site at East Kimberly Road and Bridge, Kimberly and Division, which at one time was pegged to become a Schnucks grocery store, and between Acentra and McDonald's at the southwest corner of 18th and 53rd in Bettendorf. Quail Ridge Point at Belmont and River Road, uh, or Middle Road in Bettendorf, which perhaps had been a little ahead of its time, is now 100% leased, with another 4,250 square feet of space to come in Phase 2. A 27,000 square foot Ross Dress for Less opened as a part of the redevelopment of the former Menard site at the southeast quadrant of 7th Street and John Deere Road in Moline, joining Hobby Lobby and PetSmart. Developers are bringing new life to shopping centers in the Quad Cities. Mace Rich is well underway with a, major, with a major renovation of South Park. The 106,000 square foot Sears building has been demolished along with 99,000 square feet of smaller shop space. A 45,913 square foot Dick's Sporting Goods Store has gone up in its place which just opened this week. Tenants have been strategically relocated throughout the remainder of the mall. This is creating a vibrant, right-sized shopping mall. New tenants are in the works, both in the mall and on outlots. The Capstone Group purchased the Village Shopping Center on West Kimberly Road in Davenport and is planning a new facade, new signage, parking lot improvements, and new tenants, including a new national tenant that will be announced very shortly. When Mill Hill pur purchased Valley Fair Shopping Center on West, Kim on West Locust, across from the fairgrounds, and anticipates improvements and new tenant leasings. Restaurant activity has been strong, with national and regional names such as Moe's Southwest Grill, Wingstop, Bandana's Barbecue, Jersey Mike's, and Five Guys Burgers and Fries all looking to enter the market. Locally, Barrel House will open soon on Utica Ridge Road, and J-Bar opened on Elmore Avenue. Hotels including Holiday Inns and Suites, Holiday Inn Express and Suites, Hilton Garden Inn, Homewood Suites, and Hyatt House and Hyatt Place among others are open or being discussed. The highest rental rates areas continue to be the Elmore Corridor in Davenport, East 53rd Street along Elmore uh, from uh, east, uh, from the Elmore area east across I-74 and over to 18th Street in Bettendorf. I-74 and Middle Road, the Duck Creek Plaza area in Bettendorf, and John Deere Road in Moline. In these areas, the supply of space is very limited. Prospective tenants need to be prepared to act quickly when space does become available, 
and expect landlords to hold closer to their proposed deal terms. Interestingly, even with the tight market, asking rents have not changed much. In the downtown, we typically see rents from a low of $6 to a high of $12, averaging around $10. Neighborhood strip centers run from about $9 to $18, averaging around $13. Regional strip centers run from about $17 to $26, averaging around $20, and big box running from about $5 to $10 square, a square foot, averaging around $7. New construction, especially in the highest profile areas, demand the highest rental rates, generally in the low to mid $20 a square foot. In all cases, the final deal, however, depends on the strength of the tenant and the de desirability of the location with rent abatements and tenant improvement allowances as factors in the negotiation process. There are still opportunities in long established shopping centers for good traffic and good visibility at more moderate rents. Spring Village, Old Town Mall, Cumberland Square, Kimberly West, Rock Valley Plaza, Valley Fair and, and Village Shopping Centers are all good options for retailers who are more rent sensitive. Landlords may be inclined to be a little more flexible in the negotiation process in those areas. The trends we saw in 2014 in large part, mirror, large part mirror what we saw in 2013. Slight increases in rental rates with vacancy rates down, inventory down, and absorption up. So what are we watching for? The lack of inventory in high profile locations combined with low interest rates and continued demand will create favorable conditions for continued new development in 2015 and 2016. New development at and around the intersection of 53rd Street and 18th Street in Bettendorf will expand retail opportunities. The extension of Elmore Avenue to connect with 67th Street and the Rhythm City Casino development anticipate potential big box and smaller retail opportunities. Further retail development is expected around the new Menards and Sam's Club on John Deere Road, along with improved traffic flow that will result from the widening of John Deere Road itself. And retail opportunities expected near the Western Illinois University's new campus.